I'm Daniel, the project manager for the Asagai site for the clients Greg and Giselle Hayes. The project consisted of about 457 cubes worth of gabions and being broken down into about five sections around the site. The main wall is sitting about seven meters uh, high for the most part and then comes another three meters on the left giving us a total of about 10 meters and with about a span of about 25 meters. <clears throat> we work closely alongside um, the engineer John Butler from RJB Projects as he had designed the wall using a gap tail design uh, and a PVC coating. We have a 1.2 meter diameter manhole on top of this wall on the close to the driveway and one at the bottom of the wall with a 400 millimeter heavy duty pipe running between the manholes uh, through the baskets at the bottom, uh, the bottom layer of baskets. We also have a smaller 3 meter high, 16 meter long uh, wall in front of this uh, main structure. This was benched into the slope uh, to create a, uh, a platform between the two walls. Uh, a nice pause area while walking from the bottom of the client's property to the top, uh, where they have a studio for fine arts and framing along with the small restaurant that's underway. We continued the 400 mil pipe from the bottom manhole through to a uh, head wall about 16 meters further away with a riprap and a Gabian Reno mattress to break the velocity of the water. Um, before it goes into a channel and out to an existing stream. The mattress section is about 3 meters wide and 12 meters long. The fourth section is a 2 meter high and 12 meter long wall. It's uh, acting as a catch wall at the bottom where a second slippage had occurred um, due to a stormwater pipe bursting and saturating the ground um, causing it to slip away. The um, we had the TLB working overtime on the entire site to prep the the ground uh, nicely as we were getting through to bedrock, which was a good sign, uh, and then to re um, reinstate the soil on top of this second slippage. Uh, there was quite a bit of soil that was being moved. The, um, backfill for the main section was close to 750 cubes of uh, imported fill. Um, and then obviously what was on site we used back on the second slippage. The um, final section is a small 2 meter by 4 meter long wall, uh, bench into the slope on a, another small section. Uh, the gabions were the main focal points of the project in conjunction with additional civil works consisting of building new manholes, doing um, laying water pipes back, filling road reconstruction on top with tar and um, decomposed granites. The Gabians um, was the quick, easy part, uh, but due to the sites and the damaged areas, the carting of the rock uh, was going to be a challenge. However, we came up with a plan to uh, rectify that and get the rock delivered on top uh, on the main driveway and we uh, created a little slide where it shoots down from the top section to the bottom uh, of the main wall and uh, we were passing, creating a track and passing the rocks down. The shoots were moving roughly 1.5 cubes every 10 minutes. So the guys would um, pass rock, create a big stockpile at the bottom, go down and then start backing up the boxes for that layer. Um, once we had that set up, rock, the casting of the rock was no issue for, um, after that. The weather had also played a factor in the project, um, having us lost over about two weeks worth of work due to the rain. Um, we tried to play catch up. Um, and the rain was good, we got extra guys on, uh, but then we also faced with high temperatures reaching 32, 34 degrees. Um, 
So it also slowed the guys down. We couldn't overwork the guys. Uh, but the big focus was to get the project completed by the end of the year and in the raining season. So the work works to get the ground prepared was no issue as we had a, a very, very uh, well-trained and experienced CLB operator. Um, and we had the guys doing manual labor just to fine-tune the levels. Um, and as we went up and built into the main wall, we had to cut into the sides of the existing embankments. So that was all done by hand. Every layer of the uh, backfill was compacted at 150 mils thick. Um, having a cement mixture every 500 or so just to create a bit of a soil creep to bind and hold everything together with the imported G5 and subsoil that we had on site. Um, this, we also had the gas held running through and um, had about a 5% cement mixture on that level um, to bind the G5 and the um, gas held mesh together nicely. It was about three months of hard work uh, that we had on site with the team. Uh, we turned the, uh, the very damaged sites to a mega structure that we have now. Uh, and that, that will last for years. I don't think um, any hurricane will take that out anytime soon. It was a very good, um, challenging project. We learned a lot, and uh, it's just the start of uh, bigger things to come. Thank you.